What kind of man would let himself into Teresa's room and jump on her bed? You son of a... Father? Mr. Green? Yeah, uh, well, he seemed pretty shocked himself. But he had a uh, believable explanation. Apparently, the desk clerk gave him the key to the wrong room. Well, it sounds like it could have been an honest mistake, but poor Teresa, she must have been completely shaken up. Well, she was at first, but I think she was fine when I left her. <laughs> She's probably sound asleep by now. Oh, the resort sounds ideal for our honeymoon. What's your favorite thing about it so far? My favorite thing? Yes, since you got there, what have you enjoyed the most? Well, you know, it's hard to say with you not here. I want you here more than anything. Oh, so do I, darling. I wish I could be there with you. Well, then, to hell with your father and this deal you're doing. I need you with me. Ethan, you know I can't leave yet. But I miss you so much. You know, maybe I shouldn't have come home the other night. I mean, it just made it harder for us to be apart again. Are you going to be okay? Do I really have a choice? I know what will make you feel better. When we hang up the phone, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think about the future. Think about your, your life and how perfect it's going to be with the woman you love. I'll do that. Good night, sweetheart. I love you. I love you, too. What are you doing, Father? Don't you think you've caused Teresa enough grief for one night? Ethan, it's okay. Your father just came back to apologize again for what happened earlier. Oh, is that what he told you? Well, what do you think was going on? And just out of curiosity, what are you doing sneaking into Teresa's room at this hour? I didn't want to knock on her door and wake her. Hmm. Uh, Teresa, my pilot, called. He says the weather system's cleared up. We can fly back to Harmony tonight if we like. I don't mind waiting till tomorrow. I think we should head back tonight. You know, your brother Luis might get suspicious of where you were. Right. I'll just get my things together and I'll just need a few minutes. Excuse me. Take your time, Teresa. Don't make a fool, Teresa. I know exactly what you're doing here. Don't you ever get near her again. My, my, my. I've seen you this hot of the collar about anything. You can deny it all you like, but you've just given yourself away. You're in love with Teresa, aren't you? I'm not in love with Teresa. I just want you to stay away from her. She is a sweet, innocent girl, and I won't let you corrupt her. Well, I think I've got... Is everything okay? Mm-hmm. Fine. Better get going. Bye. I meant what I said, Father. Oh, no. What's wrong? My laptop. I left it in the room. I, I had to go back and get it. Hey, look, don't be silly. You know, someone in the hotel will send it back to us in the morning. Oh, but, but all the work I, I did on the wedding is on the computer. Well, you backed it up, didn't you? Yeah, right. The disc is in my purse. 
And there's nothing to worry about. Is there? Well, there are other things on my computer, you know, personal things. Teresa, don't worry. I'm sure no one's going to read them. <laughs>